Well, it's September 2nd here in Louisville, Kentucky, and the winter is fast approaching. The weather's actually starting to feel pretty good, but with the winter approaching, then we know that you've got to get some things prepared. Today on The Boiling Point, we're going to be talking about natural gas curtailment. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm excited to hang out with Jeff Bartow. Jeff's our Boiler University instructor, and he has been hanging out in Chattanooga, Tennessee, running our Tennessee branch, and we now have him up here to do some training. And uh, as you can see, we've got boilers all around us. We've got rental boilers that are being tested, but we also have a boiler hooked up right here. Jeff, what do you got going on right now? Well, we're just running a test unit through to find out if it's ready to be looked at or considered. Uh, by a customer. So we're checking everything out. We've already did an internal on it. We did a hydro test on it. And now we're going to go ahead and do the control test and fire and check combustion. One of the things that's unique, I think, about our place is that we have so many boilers that's here at our site. And so we get to continue to do training with some of our top techs even. They have to come in and do some training and you get to do that as well with some of the guys. Yeah, we, we do well with that and that we keep them up to date on anything that's coming out or any of the changes or different products, different things that we represent. Sure. We try to get all our people brought through all that training to make it better for them in the field, make it better for the customer. Right. Now, and Jeff's a longtime tech, been with the company for many, many, many years and has just done a super job with, uh, with us at Ware. But he wanted to talk a little bit about curtailment. Uh, natural gas curtailment today and talk to you as the as the customer that maybe you need to be looking at this. So Jeff, why don't you take us through some natural gas curtailment issues? Well, with uh, this being September 2nd when we're doing this video, uh, with winter coming up, you'd want to have your units checked out. If you have a backup fuel, you want to run them, you want to check them out, you want to do the maintenance on them, you want to make sure they work in case you do need them. Uh, what typically will happen though is you haven't been curtailed for a year, two years, five years, ten years in some places and, and these things won't work when you go to use them. And what happens in that case, then, then you have a big issue. If you have to stay on natural gas, you end up with penalties and much higher cost. Now I want to just ask a goofy question and maybe it's dumb, but uh, it's something that is simple. What is the curtailment? What is that? Uh, what will happen is, is uh, it gets extremely cold outside. Most of the time this is what will trigger it. It gets extremely cold down below 20, 15 degrees and it stays there for two, three days. The draw on the natural gas lines uh, from uh, residents and commercial draw so hard that they need more gas. The pressures will be coming down so they'll ask industry to switch over so they have access to that natural gas for residential and, and, and most of the time commercial. Right. And so you could have some gas. Um, as your backup, but you also could have a number two fuel oil as a backup as well. The propane, propane could be a backup, sure. propane gas, uh, the natural gas. Your natural gas could be a backup in some cases, but, right. but in this issue about curtailment, the gas company is giving you a benefit of, of a discount if you're set up to go to a backup fuel. And if you take that from them, when they call and you can't go to it because it don't work or you're having problems, that then there's big penalties to pay for that. Mm. And what are some of the things that you would do to make sure that, um, that that's going that that's, that's to work? Well, the check out of the backup system, depending on what it is, but, but you're going to check out the system that supplies that fuel to the burner. Once that system's working, then you go to the burner and you want to make sure the burner's going to burn whatever that backup fuel is. You'll tune and adjust it to operate off of that and most of the systems today are automatic. You'll just change a switch, you'll say, okay, backup fuel, whatever it happens to be, turn it on and they automatically come on if you prepare them. But if you don't prepare them, your chances are pretty slim. It's just going to come on. Well, good. All right, well, great information. Whether you're using Ware or another service company, it's really, really important to make sure that you get this uh, prepared because right. you certainly don't want to be down. You don't want to pay, uh, be paying extra money. Um, so make sure that you're getting this prepared as the winter months come. Uh, appreciate you, Jeff, hanging out with us. Looking forward to all the things that you're going to be doing as we're doing some stuff with Boiler University. I know we got some expansion, and we're going to just hold that right there because we've got a lot of great things we're going to talk about in the future. 
um, that we'll be introducing. So uh, again, thanks a lot for all you do for us, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, we're glad to have Jeff back with us up here in Louisville to where he can actually continue to train some of our guys. It's always great to see some of the older guys that have been in the business for a long time pass on some of that knowledge to our newer technicians or to a, a newer employee that we have, and we're just blessed to have the facilities to be able to do that. As far as the curtailment goes, make sure that you have your backup prepared. You can have natural gas curtailment, but you could also have an interruption in any type of uh, fuel, whether you be number two, natural gas, you could have some type of damage to the lines or whatever it is, but you want to make sure that you have your backup fuel prepared. Well, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you don't mind, maybe share the videos around, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.